Hey guys, how's it going? So, today I'm going to be telling you my personal thoughts on speed cubing. So, first of all, I'm, you know, might as well just dig right into it. I'm not a speed cuber. I don't, I don't really, I haven't really looked into it. Well, I've looked into it. I'll promise you I've looked into it. I've tried many times to become a speed cuber and only one of those times has actually been successful and that's the F2L. So I'll, you know, I'll probably make a video on that, a tutorial. But it would make that video so much better if I knew the OLL and the PLL and that kind of thing. And then that would also expand the YouTube, my YouTube channel a lot because that would take tips for, you know, OLL, like one looks and that kind of thing. I haven't really looked into it, so don't blame me if I get any of this information wrong or anything. So, first of all, um, I've, I've attempted the OLL and the PLL quite a few times, but it's just really overwhelming. I've, I've even tried it a little bit at a time, and it just doesn't work for me. I can't, my memorization doesn't work, it's not that great. So, if you guys have any tips for memorization, they would be super helpful to me. And I'm not really in a big rush, as of right now, of getting those, so... I don't really care. Uh, so, so when I've tried, either something's come up or basically I just get tired of it and it's too overwhelming. Most of the time, most of the time something's come up. And but I decided that if I wanted to actually get into it more, the first thing I need would would be a decent speed cube and probably one of those, you know, those cool timers that they use at competitions and that kind of thing. I see everyone on YouTube, all everyone has one of those, and I, I'll admit it, I'll openly, I'll openly admit it, I'm totally jealous of those people. I wish I could solve cubes as fast as they could, and I wish I had that awesome timer. I mean, I could get that easily, but what's the use having it if you don't have something to show off? So... If you if you have a cube you want to get rid of or like a really good speed cube, post it in the comments and I'll buy it off you or something. But as of right now, I'm really just trying to keep keep the puzzles coming in, you know, because I'd rather I figured out that I'd rather expand and cover a more broad variety of puzzles rather than focus on, you know, the 3x3 three three forever and and learn the advanced method, the OLL and PLL. But I've, I've really thought about it and I just want to, I want to try to learn speed cubing slowly and that's, that's how it's going to be. So now we move into stuff like blindfold solving, I really don't want to get into that at all, because the OLL and PLL is bad enough, I mean, but, mem but memorizing it and putting that, putting all that through your brain, it's just way too crazy for me to even think about, I can't even, oh, it's just mind-boggling when you see people do that successfully, and also, the same thing there with one hand, it, I, you know, I, and I think I have tried one-handed solving, and it just doesn't work for me. The only time that I would actually do a one-handed solve is if I broke my hand or fractured my wrist or something, and that would only be for a limited time, so it wouldn't even be worth it in the end. So that's pretty much my thoughts on one-handed solving. And it's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Make sure to subscribe for updates and watch my other videos see you guys next time